Now that you've moved around a little in the workspace, it's time to try to start to build something. We're going to build a little house. To start that, we need to bring a shape over from the shape pane. Let's grab a box and drag it over onto our work, our work plane. There it is. Now one of the things you have to fi figure out is that when you're building a 3D object in Tinkercad, everything you build has to be built from the bottom up and everything needs to be sitting on the work plane. So I'm going to look at, click on my box and I'm going to check that it is on the work plane. There's a few ways to do this. One is to manipulate your work plane around and look to see where it is sitting and that it is on the work plane. To be extra sure, you can click on your item and then click on the little black cone shaped arrow at the top. If you click on that and you pull up, you will see that there's a number that shows and you want that number to say zero. If the number says zero, that means your shape is on the work plane. And as you go up, or as you go down, because you can put shapes on through the work pane, plane, that will tell you how far up or down it is. So to double check and make sure something is on the work plane, click on that arrow and try pulling up or down and making sure that it's sitting at zero. Now, to make my house, I want it to be a bit longer and a bit wider. There are different ways to do this. You probably noticed when I clicked on the shape, this menu opened up. This is where I can change my color. And I can also resize using this menu. I can click and drag to change the length. The width and the height of my object. There are a few other ways to change length, width, and height. Remember length, width, height. So to change the length, which goes this way, I can use this menu or I can come over here and I can grab one of the black handles in the center and I can actually click and drag my item longer or shorter. You probably are noticing that there is a number that's going up and down as I drag. Another way to, to change the length of the item is to come over and click on that number and actually make your object the size you want it. So let's make it 20 long. I can change the width by clicking on one of the black handles here and dragging just like length. Or just as I did before, I can actually click on that black handle and come and change this number to 50. Now my box is 50 wide by 20 long. I can change the height by grabbing this white dot at the top and dragging up or down. Let's make our house 30 tall. Once again, I could do the same thing where I changed the number by clicking here and typing it. The white handles at the corners can be used to resize your object. It's very important to know that if you click on that and drag, however, it will change both the length and the width at the same time, like that. Uh-oh, let's hit my undo button. If I hit shift and hold that key down while I drag the white, it will actually drag the size proportionally, meaning it will change the length 
and the width the same amount. Once again, I'm going to undo what I just did. So here is the beginnings of my house. Now my house needs a roof. It's time to pull over a roof. And as we look and scroll down, we can see that there are many, many different shapes here. I would like to pull over a roof, and there just happens to be one. So let's pull it over to our work pane. Now, I have a problem. My roof is the wrong way for my house. It's oriented wrong. Now, what can I do? I can actually make my roof rotate by clicking on the arrows that go both ways. Once I click on that, I can actually drag, whoops, I'm dragging the wrong thing. I can actually drag my item and turn it. It will turn in larger increments if I turn inside the circle. If I turn outside the circle, whoops, sorry. It will turn in smaller increments. There's the orientation I wanted. Now, if you remember, my house is 20 long by 50 wide. So my roof needs to be at least 24 long by about 54 wide. So let's change it. Now my roof should be big enough, but I have to get it up on top of the box. I can pull it up and make sure that it's 30 high. And I can check to see how it looks by dragging. Uh-oh, it looks like it's the right height, but it's not in the right location. I could spend a lot of time trying to get this green roof on top of this yellow house, or I can use a tool called the Align Tool. I'm going to click on the roof, and I'm going to click on the house, holding the Shift key. Then this little tool comes up. I'm going to click it, and I want to align my roof. To my house, I can click the two center dots and boom, my roof is now perfectly aligned on top of my house. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Now I've got a house. I would like you to try these steps. There is a worksheet that goes along with building this house that will remind you of the steps that I did in this video. Once you have created the beginnings of the house and placed a roof onto the block of the house, we will move on to creating doors and windows.